Good evening and welcome back. Tonight we're going to discuss how magic works, which is a question I get a lot. So to some, magic does appear to be illogical, as if there were no rules at all. No way to predict what will occur. I know it can look like that to the outside view, but this is not the case. Magic does indeed have its own laws and rules. Rules which can be predicted and understood, much in the way of physical laws. So magic does act in a predictable way. These laws can help us understand how magic works and what its limitations really are. Any decent course or book discussing the details of magic will include at least some of these laws, at least as far as we understand them. We do not pretend to understand everything there is about magic. Of course we don't. So some of these laws which seem natural and intuitive to a Wiccan, such as the law that states that everything is linked, either directly or indirectly, since in Wiccan cosmology, that is exactly the case. Everything is connected. However, it is important to understand that these laws are independent of Wiccan theology and cosmology, that they are, they exist on their own. So regardless of whether you are Wiccan or not, magic does operate in essentially the same way. All right, it doesn't really matter, even though we approach it differently from different traditions, though maybe the ethics behind magic vary from tradition to tradition, magic itself is essentially the same. It's also difficult to explain. So fortunately for the practitioner, it is not necessary to understand exactly how magic works. Rather, it is better to understand how to make it work, and this is an infinitely easier task. Remember that there are just as many ways to practice magic as there are practitioners. They range from the simple, such as the use of crystals for protection, to the elaborate, such as performing complex rituals and ceremonies. Most Wiccans do both of these things. They do the simple things, the natural everyday things for our everyday magical needs, and then employ the use of rituals during times when it is necessary. Um, for example, at certain points of the year, the Sabbaths, the solar festivals, or your lunar rites, these things are times when a ritual or ceremony might be necessary, but not every bit of magic requires the use of a large ritual. Some of them, a lot of them, most of them, can be done with just a simple everyday magic, normal stuff. So there are quite literally thousands of different magical systems. I could spend video after video talking about the different systems in brief, and we would be here for years. Even Wiccans do not have one single system. And sometimes these systems are combined to create even more systems. So we could literally be here for years talking about each individual system. Some of these systems use props and other items to accomplish their goal, but props and tools are not strictly necessary. In fact, simply copying the motions and words of a ritual or spell will not result in success. It is necessary to truly connect with the essence of a ritual in order for the spell or other magic to work. You have to connect with the purpose. You have to put what you've got into it. You can't just stand there and recite a spell and expect it to work. So in Wicca, magic itself is a positive practice. It is not used to destroy, manipulate, or exploit other people. While anyone can practice magic, whether in a religious context or not, Wiccans are careful not to abuse what is viewed as a gift from the divine. Magical ethics are a powerful part of Wicca, so you can't really separate the magic from the ethics, at least if you're practicing Wiccan magic. Now, obviously, from tradition to tradition, ethics may vary. So, take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> but generally, in Wicca, magic and ethics are tied very closely together. When practicing magic in Wicca, it is more than acceptable to use spells or rituals best suited to the practitioner and the situation, even if they have to be created from scratch. It is also possible to use those rituals and spells created by others, 
but sometimes it can be difficult to find one suited to your particular situation. Wicca is a very fluid tradition and that extends to its magic, so the creation of new magics is always encouraged. You do not have to use spells and rituals written by other people, but there's also nothing wrong with using spells and rituals written by other people. You can do both. Ultimately, some type of power, personal power, earth power, divine power, must be focused and released towards a goal for magic to be successful. Sometimes this can sound complex, but it's actually really simple, and we'll talk more about that in later videos. The only reason magic is not more widely performed and more widely used is because a lot of people lack the discipline and the focus to send their will towards one true goal. It's not easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it. So you have to really be willing to focus, to send out your energy towards one singular goal. If you can't do that, your magic will never be successful. So the ability to focus your will upon one singular idea is really the secret to magic. And we will, of course, talk about that in more detail in later videos. But for today, we're finished. Blessed be.